Hey, welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to be live for an hour discussing you. We will, I will answer your questions about life, love, career, finances, whatever area of life you have, and helping you connect to your loved ones on the other side. Um, you can call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you're watching live on YouTube, you can post your question in the chat. I'm happy to answer either way. I get through as many questions and calls as I can in the one hour slot. Please remember this show does air on many TV stations, streaming channels, and um, yeah, oh, blogs, <laughs> not blogs. Um, what do they call like Apple TV? You know, all of all of those things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Here we go. So we are going to get started. I am going to uh, try to get through as absolutely many people as I can today. And please remember next Monday's show will be on Tuesday because Monday is also a travel day for me. So typically I go live every Monday at noon and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Today I'm doing noon because I'm traveling this evening and then I'll be traveling again on Monday. There's no way I can do a show. So I just popped it to Tuesday. So next week it'll be two shows in a row, Tuesday at noon and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times will be Central. I'm going to try to keep up with my TikTok videos in the meantime. If you guys have suggestions for those, please don't uh, hesitate to send them to me. Okay, um, should I do names today? Yep, names. The first name I am getting is, um, now these names could be your name, their name, or somebody you know. And the first thing I'm hearing is Peppa, like Pepper, but Peppa. The next name I'm hearing is um Jose, the next name I'm hearing is Andre. Oh, Andre just always sounds like if you imagine in your mind somebody named Andre, you're thinking somebody, yeah, Andre, Andre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andre. The next, uh, the next name I'm hearing is, um, Beatrice, Ruth, Esther, Lionel, Lionel, Lion, Lionel. I don't, I'm sorry, my mouth isn't working correctly with that one, but if it's you, you know who it is. Um, the next name is Angela. I'm just going to say Patrice, the name before that, I was having a, a great deal of difficulty. They're having a little trouble getting it to me, but I'm still going to try to get it. Um, Latke. And then I'm going to do two more names really quick. Rich, Richie, Richard, Rich. And then em Emili Emiliano. Emiliano. Okay. I am going to go straight to callers and then go to questions. And then in between, um, I'm going to allow them to bring songs through and any channeling that they want to bring through during this. I'm going to tell you guys uh, the, the channeling for me in the middle of the night, I've not been going to sleep until four in the morning when everything kind of shuts down the messages are coming through and just some amazing things, um, even business-wise, but just simply amazing things. Um, 
that are coming through that are just I'm I'm just so grateful for. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first caller who is seven zero eight seven zero eight. What's your name and where are you calling from? Patricia from Illinois. Patricia, welcome to the show. I think I just said your name. <laughs> yeah, I think you said Patrice. Uh, well, how about that? Okay, how can I help you today, Patricia? See, this is just meant to be. You see, folks, this is how it works. How can I help you today, love? Well, I, I didn't understand what, what, what you just said, that, that you, you connected with me before I got on? No, um, no, 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 no. It's I, when I was just um, saying the names, like the names are from loved ones oh. up above, like I'm hearing names and I... You, so you're obviously your name came through. So and then here you are on the phone. Okay. So here we go. How can I help you, love? Okay. Um, you know, the last two years have been, you know, really, really um like a dark night of the soul. I I, I was prescribed a, a medication um that now I have to uh taper off from. Didn't know this is going to happen. I ended up um, losing my home and I'm in an apartment now and I'm moving to another one that I'm not really happy about. I haven't felt like I've been home for a long time. And my husband passed. I don't, when I was in the home, I used to get a lot of messages from him. My mother always comes through in, in license plates all the time. And if I don't pick it up, my friend picks it up. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I want to, I, I want to know that I can get through this tapering and I can find home again. Yeah. Okay. So first and foremost, I'm so sorry, Patricia, I need to m mute you, but please don't go any place. There's just some feedback on the phone as I'm, as I'm talking. So I just want to, and that might not be your phone. That might be my situation, but please. I'm going to give you as much information as I can to help you out, love. You are going to feel like you're at home again. This is going to come within or around the six-month mark. Within or around the six-month mark. Um, you are going to find clarity again I, and taper off as much as possible and as quickly as possible, but be safe about it. Um, as soon as that is done, everything is going to open up again. It's almost like whatever you're do, whatever you're taking or whatever it is, it's muffling, it's numbing everything down. It's numbing it down. It's just, um, it's almost, it's all still there, but it's like there's this big blanket over it that is, uh, making it so you can't see or hear as much from loved ones. So what I would say to you is as soon as this is done, as soon as it is uh, c cleared out of your system, give it about a month for everything in your mind or your brain or your abilities to reignite. And as soon as they reignite, um, you're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so happy. I do feel like the next place you stay, it now please listen to all of this. It won't be the last place you are, but you will be there for a little bit of time. It's not, don't, don't skip this place. This place leads you to the next place. Um, and while you're there, you're really going to start getting like power and control of your life again. You're going to start to feel like what, like baby steps at first and then steps. And you're going to feel like you're like um, getting back in, in to your, who you are, getting your power back, getting your control back. Now, just for you and anybody else who needs this, who's uh, who's coming off of something and not only a medication, a drug, an alcohol, anything, anybody who's coming off of anything, and I know you're not abusing, don't, please don't misunderstand that. Let's do a clearing that it clears out of our body and we can safely let it go and just not be using it any longer. Let's clear that now. 
Okay. Oh, and then the next thing I'm getting for you, Patricia, is uh, obviously your loved ones are here. And that is why I said your name in the beginning. They want you to know they're always with you. They're, they're, say, they're saying, watch billboards. Watch billboards like on the, on the road, those big billboards. You'll see signs from them there also. Patricia, I do hope that that is so very helpful for you. I hope that that um, gives you some guidance. And I, again, I'm so sorry for what you're going through. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, I'm going to go to uh, what, what I think is the first question. Here we go. I have a crush on a guy who is almost pretty sure, wait, I have a crush on a guy who I'm almost pretty sure got the job, if you know what I mean. Um, Tony, what do you see with this? I can't even kiss him because of that. I see you should leave it alone. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what, just don't even just, it, it's just, I don't mean to make lightly of it, but it's, it's a crush. Um, as easily as we decide we like someone, um, before real feelings start, we can decide not to. So find, here's my, here's my tip to you. Nothing has happened yet. It's just a little crush. Find something extremely unattractive about this guy and focus in on that and that only. And don't mess up your workspace. Don't, don't mess up your work life. Don't make your work life complicated. Don't make it um, mm, mm, torture. So whatever it is about this guy that you can find that might be a little bit unappealing, go with it. And if you cannot find something unappealing, make up something unappealing. Uh, you don't even know this. This person might be in a relationship. They're just whatever you need to do, just let that go and and uh, you will be good. Hey, good morning, Karen. It's wonderful to see you. Uh, I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. 850. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Michelle, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Oh, I'm fighting, I'm fighting a stomach battle of virus. But um, I was wanting to find out about um, what you see for love in the future. Okay. Um, Michelle, I'm sorry about your stomach. I'm going to tell you... As far as love goes, I feel like someone, you have the potential, you have to be out and about and ready and willing. <sighs> Is this coming in in June? Yeah, June. July. June, maybe July, depending on, on what, what happens next. I feel like you might meet, meet or Either this person likes to be near water or you meet this peer person near water. I'm seeing piers and boats. Um, so that that could be either somebody who, who has a boat, likes to boat, wants to boat, or likes to be near the water. Whatever that means, I, I try. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna meet that person there, but this person might have something to do with that. I do feel like this person um, travels or likes to travel. And I feel like, I just hear the statement, when you know, you know, when you know, you know. I feel like this person is a little bit happy-go-lucky and you, um, I, I want to be delicate when I say this. Don't bring old trash into a new home. And this is emotionally. So don't 
like make make sure everything from the past is as cleaned up as it can and you're still you're not um still upset hurt thinking about a past situation because that energy will not match the energy of the person you are going to be meeting and you want your energy to match that especially if their energy is higher so be uh, one of the things i often do and you know it's i wish it's not always easy when you really really cared about somebody but i go to this space where um i'm just so nothing is owed to us first and foremost i don't care if you have marriage papers and children yes the 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 hope is it will last forever but this is a reality of a life with many moving parts and people have free will and they can go out and do what they they choose to do so my perspective is every moment i get to spend with a person you know a friend a, a, a partner whatever it is i'm really grateful for that moment if at some point for whatever reason that ends i don't go into <clears throat> this is their fault or my fault because there's a divine order to everything there's such a divine order to everything i don't go i try not to go into they did this and and blah 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 i just think i try to stay in that space where i'm really grateful for everything for whatever time we had together whatever experiences we had together and then i i can then look forward to anything that would be coming in now i'm not saying that's not that that's the cure-all it is a help because when we when we end something or something ends it can be very very painful it can hurt um, and we have to make sure we process the hurt but we can't we shouldn't process it like a a breakup per se we should process it more like when somebody passes on where we don't say bad things about them but we know it's over okay and then we just cry and we realize it's time to move on now i know i'm making this sound very simplified and it's it's really not but before you go into the next thing make sure you've done your grieving process and your gr gratitude process for everyone in the past and cut it because I feel like this new person is someone who will be able to start, like, you know how they say there's a chapter in a book or there is a, um, this is the next chapter. Well, this is the end of a series. This, this next person has the potential to end out that series and start a whole new book, a whole new type of book for you and have it be something completely different but you have to you know cut the stuff from the past and be willing to move forward in a space that is really very 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 powerful for you where you're you're ready to say i you know what whatever happened in the past it was meant to happen i'm good i'm moving on and this didn't happen to me, it happened for me. So I can meet someone who's in alignment with me, with my with my goals and my habits, and I'm free to be that person now. And the next thing I'm getting for you, Michelle, is to reinvent yourself, just reinvent yourself. And we don't have to go cut our hair off and change the color of our hair, or it can be something just reinventing the way you feel or think about things but reinvent who you are because you're not the person and this is i say this for everybody you should be reinventing yourself every single day you should be going through your clothes and your um your things and saying is this still the person i am is this still the person i want to be is this still 
the way I want to, you know, move forward. And if it's just the mind, say, is that, you know, I've been this person since I was 18. I've been this person since I was six. I've, I've had these sad, whatever emotions my whole entire life. I, it's just time for me to let them go. So that's the next thing I want to say to you. And, and I just want to say on the emotion end of it, um, so many of that, it, so much of that is a pattern. It's, it's a belief system and a pattern that we picked up someplace in our childhood, our young adulthood that we just stuck with and we kept going with it. And it's time to just completely let that go and move on and just have the knowing that as, as Jimmy says, may the rest of your life be the best of your life. Okay. When things go well, you know, when things go bad, people assume it's going to keep going bad and get worse. And when it, when we have something good come in, we don't assume it's going to keep getting better. We assume something's going to come in and stop it. But what if it didn't? What if it didn't? What if it didn't stop it? What if nothing was supposed to stop it? And what if truly our mind creates our future? And as long as we're in that space of knowing every day that comes is a day that is based on, you know, how we feel. And then from there, we can just feel better and better and better and better. And I, I just, I know this is taking a moment, but I want to say, because it's, I'm channeling and it's coming through me. I want to say, when we look at those people that are super successful, whether we like them or not, whether we agree with them or not, one thing that they do is, or they do not do, they do not let a bad day or a bad minute turn into a bad week or a bad month. They get back to work and they keep going. Do you think super successful people don't go through breakups and divorces and lawsuits and losses? Of course they do. They're their mind though, their mind, their ability to turn that around into a new project, a new person, a new situation is very different than that of somebody who goes straight into defeat and straight into why did this happen to me? It happens to everybody. Everything happens to everybody. Everything happens to everybody. Yes. So we have to go to that space where when something happens, and I, I say this all the time, it's not what happens to us. It's how we feel and think about what happens to us. And we want to feel good. Like, no, even if it was something bad, we find the positive in it, no matter how difficult that is. And Michelle, I truly hope that helps you, love. Yes, and I appreciate you taking so much time. Uh, God bless you, honey. You too, sweetie. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And I, I, I truly hope you feel better. I really do. I really do hope you feel better. I'm going to go to the, um, the next question in uh, the conversation. Here we go. This is a good question. Will the man I'm with now... Uh, will, will I <laughs> read all the words, Tony? Will I be with the man I'm with now in the future? He's Aquarius. I'm a Virgo. Ooh, those are two. Oh my goodness. Those two signs. I get, there's some stuff I would say, but I'm, I'm not going to say on air. Um, I, here's what I'm going to say. Uh, Karen, I feel like you guys are going to be together for a bit of time. I do feel like conversations are really important. Allow those conversations to go really deep if, if you can handle it. Um, get lost in the conversation and everything will be okay. This person connects through part, part of their intimacy is conversation is what I'm picking either you or them one of them 
part of your intimacy is conversation and a very, I want to say intellectual conversation, but intellectual meaning um, conversations that are just very deep, not necessarily about, you know, engineering or that sort of stuff, not, not, um, not intellectually educational, but just very, very deep provoking thought, deep thought provoking conversation. So as long as you're good with that, um, yeah, I see this could be something that could last for a bit of time. Um, I do feel like uh, it. everything needs to be balanced and fair. So please make sure that you're having everything be balanced and fair. Don't give too much. Um, in the situation, allow your Aquarius to step forward and give to you um, and take it to, to be, uh, the words I'm hearing is to be a little bit more all encompassing, if that makes sense. Okay, I hope it does. I hope, it, uh, Karen, let me know if that, that makes sense to you. Ooh, I thought I was running out of, and there's so many. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller, 623. What's your name and where are you calling from? A 623. Hi, Tony. This is Rebecca from Arizona. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you, love. So, Rebecca, what's your question for me today? My son, um, Mariano, he had a doctor's follow-up appointment, and he just wanted to know how it would go, if it would go good or bad. I'm um, sorry, if he would hear good or bad news. Okay, so I feel like, so this is, this is, I needed to really explain this. So I feel like it depends mm -hmm. on what he considers good or bad news. I feel like it is, it's not going to be, it's not necessarily going to be what he wants to hear, but I'm, I'm hearing it. He's going to hear what he needs to hear. And there is, this isn't the um, final outcome there are some things they're going to be able to do to help it uh to help to, to help it to get better it's just going to take longer than thought i feel like whatever this is it's going to be a little bit more of a process than originally uh, thought like maybe then that was originally thought and i do feel like but there will be a resolution. It's just a little further down the line. This isn't something that's going to happen <clears throat> quickly. Um, and there may be a procedure or a, <clears throat> excuse me, a series of procedures that are needed to help this process go. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. And also, Tony, not a question, but just let you know, you said the name. DeAndre, Andre, DeAndre, that's my other son. Oh, I, I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, is, is it Andre? Andre, Andre. I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. Um, what I'm going, the one thing I would say is if you hear the name and it might be a loved one on the other side, because all the names come from loved ones on the other side, and what they're saying is, we're watching out for you. We're we're connecting with you. We're around you. So please let him know that, okay? Perfect. Thank you so much, Tony, and safe travel. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. And I do feel like um, the loved one, Rebecca, the loved one on the other side that is um, if for Andre or DeAndre is um, it's a it's an. Uh, I can never say this, an abuela is what I'm hearing. So I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that that, yeah, that's the word I'm hearing. So I hope that that makes sense. And I hope just um, let, let him know that that is the case. Okay, Rebecca, I'm going to go to the next question um, on 
line. Uh, thank you, first name. She says, uh, for going to sleep at 4 a.m., I look at, yeah, that is all makeup. I'm just going to say that now that 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 is um, all, all makeup. Okay, I'm going to go, but thank you so much. Hey, Kim, how are you? Thank you so much, Kim. I'm going to go to the next question online. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, let's do this. Here we go. Hi, is my connection with Amen Aquarius over or is it destined to develop? Okay, I feel like um, Nor and... I'm sorry if I'm saying nor, nu or, I think it's nor. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, please forgive me. I am going to tell you this. I feel like um, this cannot develop further than it already has. I feel like it's in both of your best interests to, uh, to kind of move forward and um if it, it, here's what i'm getting if you start again it will fall apart especially if you pick up where you left off if you just get back together and go like nothing happened or um i feel like this is Something I want to say here is there is some information that has not come out about this situation and it doesn't, it, it, and please know it, it doesn't always mean um, there's another person. It could be something completely different, but there's, there's a, some information that has not come out about this situation and I just hear that that information is a deal breaker. Um, I do feel like if I, do, I just don't see it coming back together and being a healthy situation, not at this time, not at this time. I feel like one of you is not telling the other one something pertinent and if you're just friends now, which it says here, we're friends now, maybe the other person isn't, one of you isn't saying something because you don't want to hurt the other person or something like that. But there is something going on. And again, they're saying behind the scenes. And, and if you are just friends now, it might not be like any... It, I always say once you're no longer intimate, you don't always get to know all the intimate stuff about the other. And not that it's that, but there are things that just stay private after you are no longer together. What I feel like that there is something that would be, it would make it very difficult to get back together. I, I just made that answer so much longer than it need, needed to be, um, to be honest. Uh, oh, uh, Rebecca Abuela is a grandma. Thank you. Yes, please let him know that. It's it's really important uh, that he knows that his grandmother is watching out for him. Uh, Melissa wants to know, do you see me moving this year? If not, when? Um, you are going to move this year. It might not be to where you think it's going to be. For example, if you're relocating to another, if you're thinking about relocating to another state, you may relocate to another state, but it in a different area, or you might relocate to a different state or just a different, a different place than what you're thinking right now. Okay. So, um, you i do see the potential to move remember we have to take the action and make all the steps for it but i do feel like it's not it may not be to where you are thinking right now okay 
there we go. That's what I have for you, Melissa. I hope that's that's helpful. If you would like to call in, you can, um, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you posted a question that I did not get to, please uh, repost it so that I can get to it and I will be happy to do that. Okay, you guys, I have been up like for weeks, just about every night until 4 a.m. and I'm getting these downloads. And some of them are really, I, I can't, um, I can't say all of it yet. But the one thing that I did get that I'm going to share with you guys, and it's, it's, it's so, it's so crazy because I kind of know that we create our life and our existence, but then we feel like there's something like we always say, if it's okay, if this, if that, and we feel like there's a control outside of us that is allowing or not allowing us to have what we want. And this, in part, this comes from childhood when we always had to ask for permission and get permission and we would be told no, or we would be told yes, and not feeling uh, from childhood having that, um, that, that control or that, you know, supervision over us. Okay. So in part, it's from that. And there, there are many other elements. I'm just using that as a simple example. But what if, now now stick with me here and let's turn this into like a full on conversation because here's what I've been getting. You're the only one that decides. You're the only one that decides. There's no one saying yes. There's no one saying no. There's no if or maybe in your mind and in your heart, what you want, what you truly want, you will get. Now, if we have the feeling that there's um, a higher being up there deciding if we should have it or not, if we should get it or not, if we should do it or not, if this is for us or not, then within us, it stops because of that. Like so many people will say, oh, God willing, or when they pray, they say, if, if, if it's okay, or if this is in my path, or if the, but what if the fact that it's in our head, that we even thought about it, is the sign that it's for us? So, um, I have to sneeze. Oh my goodness. So if we are going through this life, right? And we know that what, uh, I don't want to sneeze. And we know that whatever we want, whatever comes into our mind that is good for us and we truly want it and we can feel it, but then we add in the, you know, if God, God's God willing, or if it's okay, or there has to be a timing that that is what stops it. So they, they shared with me this process and th this is such an amazing process. And I want you guys to start using it. When you fall asleep at night, turn everything off. And it's going to take a moment for your brain to recalibrate to where it needs to be. But as you're falling asleep, start seeing your day the next day. But don't see it in a way of what you have to do. See it in a way like you're writing a book and you're planning it out. Right? So if you're starting a business, for example, you're going to start making a list of all the things you have to do and imagine seeing yourself doing those things. Right? So I have to go and get this license and I have to go get this and I have to do that. Now, the same way you do that, 
if even if you work for a company and and you're kind of on autopilot, which has taken our ability to manifest and create for so many people that being on autopilot, going to the same job, doing the same thing, we stop creating because we go in and we're just on repeat. But then from the time you leave work to the time you fall asleep, create that. Start making in your mind what you want to do in that time so that you're back in the creation process. You get comfortable creating. And just start with the things you're going to do the next day. Start with those things that are saying, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go get this. I'm going to go that. I'm going to da 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 da. And then start adding new things into it. So if there's a business idea, for example, that you have that you really want to explore, start seeing it and imagining it and then bringing it into fruition in the steps that you take for it. Okay. So th there is no outside force, no outside anything that is blocking or stopping what we want in this life. The only thing that, so, so when we're manifesting, creating, doing whatever you want to call it, what gets in the way of that, the only thing that stops it is, is if we believe it can come to us or not. And then if we believe we deserve it, if we believe it's within our comfort zone. So for example, so many people ask um, about the lottery and they wanna win the lottery. And the truth of the matter is you can win the lottery. J give me one second here. My nose is a little, I just have to take care of that. You can win the lottery and anybody, you know, given the fact the CIA or whatever doesn't take it, that's a joke. Um, but when you buy the ticket, you're hoping to win. You're not saying, okay, I'm going to get this ticket. It's going to, right? You don't have that belief. You're not connected to it. And when you think of the amount, it's a, it's such a fantasy amount that it is, it, if you thought about having all of that, it might not be as comfortable as a smaller amount. But let's go back into everyday life. As long as you are in the belief system of it and the comfort zone of it and the willingness to know that it is meant for you, if it's in your head, if it's in your heart, it is truly meant for you, it will happen. So as you go to sleep, start planning it out, start seeing it. Just go over your in your head as you fall asleep, what you're going to do the next day, the next week, ever, all the steps you're going to take and watch the difference that it makes. Just watch that. Now, I, if, for those of you who have been with me for some time, I have manifested. I don't speak on this lightly. I'm not just out here saying you can. I, I, I knew somebody once who called herself a manifestation uh, teacher. And I, I went to one of her things and I was so upset with her because she said, <laughs> she, and I don't, I not upset for the, because she was teaching this to people and this is not, she and I just had two completely different ideas about what manifestation was. So she was telling the group that they, she manifested a minivan, a used minivan at this payment. That's not manifestation. That's walking to, into a car lot and getting that every day of the week, sweetie. That That is not manifestation. You can walk into any car lot and get a minivan at that price per month every day of the week from just about any car lot. When you can say, I have manifested two brand new off the showroom floor, 
vehicles and paid zero, not even the taxes for it, that's manifestation. So I know what I'm talking about when I talk about this. I know what I'm saying and I've done it at least twice. Okay, okay, okay. When you can believe in your heart, it's for you, and you can see it and feel it, because what we feel, this is a feeling planet, and you can visualize it. You can start to visualize it, and that's another reason so many people have a problem winning the lottery. You can't visualize $350 million and what that feels like. However, let's take it from the back door. Visualize all the things you would purchase with that, the lifestyle you would have with that, the home you would buy with it. Now, when you're manifesting, don't bring other people into your manifestation because you're manifesting a life that is completely different than the life they are manifesting. So for example, and I'm just going to say the lottery again, okay? If I'm w manifesting to win the lottery and all of a sudden I'm, I'm saying, I'm going to do this for my sister and this for my brother and this for my cousin and this for my niece and my nephew, that might not be part of what they want. But more importantly, that might not be part of their life plan. So you only, only manifest for yourself, okay? Only manifest for what you are wanting. Once it happens, if something else comes up, you go from there, but you don't do it with the intention of other people because that is their free will and how they're supposed to learn their destiny and their lessons. So instead of saying, I just want this here, this big lump sum, start spending it. In your mind, start spending it. Start seeing the vehicle you would have. Start seeing, and if you can't, if you can't imagine the Bugatti or the Bentley or the whatever vehicle, take it back a step. Back it up to what's good and comfortable for you because that's the other part. We can never go past our comfort zone. So if we're not comfortable with, like my mom, God bless her, love her, uh, she would always say, I, I'm afraid to get this messed up. I'm afraid to mess this up. Like, I don't want to sit in, in this vehicle and mess it up because it was that nice. Where she that was beyond, a little bit beyond the comfort. Any Anybody who was used to having those types of vehicles or brand new vehicles, would, they would just get in and not even think twice about it. They wouldn't worry about that right? So that's another thing. You need to make sure that you're slowly every day bringing up that comfort zone. So if you're not comfortable thinking about bringing in $150,000 a year, just for example, start at 50, then in two weeks, go to 60, and then in two weeks, go to 80, and slowly bring up those numbers and let your frequency or your feeling of it and your knowing of it, rise with it. Bring it all up with you, one thing at a time, okay? Now, what wealth or what manifestation you want is probably not what everybody else wants. Everybody is put here with their own unique ideas and wills and wants. And I just want to tell you, whatever you truly want, you want it because it is for you. It's meant to be for you. And that's part of this life is figuring out how to create and bring in what you want in your life. Now, don't worry about the numbers and the money when you're thinking about something. When you have something so strongly implanted in your mind, it will come to you. When you try to figure out and micromanage every detail of it, you're getting in the way of the process. Just put it out there and 
as long as you keep moving forward, it will happen. The other thing with manifesting, don't change your mind. So you might manifest this. You might say, I want this, but wait, oh, but wait, what if? And then you you pull back on, on what you wanted. You, you start to say, I don't, I don't know if that's what I want, but what if that's not the right place? What if that's not the right vehicle? What if that's not? Then the, first stick with the first one. If that doesn't work, you can change it again. We live on a plane of creation. We are put here to create. If we knew, if we knew collectively how powerful and this is other the other part of what I've been uh, messages I've been getting. If we knew collectively how powerful we are, how incredibly powerful we are when we connect our heart to our head, our heart to our brain, our mind. When that when that Trinity is co connected, right? the heart, the brain, the mind, when it's connected and we are working with every ounce of it without doubt, if you knew how powerful just one person is, let alone the whole collective or half of the collective, just powerfully connecting on what they want, even if they all want different things. The moment we activate our heart to our head, our heart to our brain and our mind, the moment we connect them and we have the knowing that this is for us, it's meant for us, there's nothing in the way of it, there is no right, there is no wrong, if we're not harming other people, don't bring that into that, don't be that person. There is nothing that will stop it. And the things that have stopped it in the past are things like, oh, don't be greedy. People with too much. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Oh, you're going to, something bad's going to happen. No, this is why we are here. This is why we incarnated here to create out of love for ourselves and for others but others are supposed to create for themselves. So we are here to create out of love that feeling, that, that, that feeling we are here to create out of love what we want and the life we want and the way we want it, but we're so afraid that there will be a repercussion or people will think a certain way about who cares, teach them how to create. Here's my thing. People have said a lot of things. They've cast a lot of judgment on me for some of the things that I've, I've manifested in my life. Do you know whose problem that is? <laughs> not mine. <laughs> it certainly is not mine. Haters going to hate. I can teach you how to do this, but I'm not going to sit and listen to you be be a hater because you didn't do what I did because you chose a different way okay if you're not using your head and your heart to create the way we're supposed to that's on you now I can teach it to you but but sweetie I'm not gonna listen to your judgment about me mm -mm. no mm -mm. so as long as you can let all of that go and you can just be so focused in and this life is about you your life is about you because the more you create for you the more if you choose you can do for others but if you're constantly trying to create for somebody else's life and you're creating probably on a different trajectory than they want to be on then you're not creating for yourself and you're definitely not creating for them because they have a different idea of what they want. So you may even be going against what they want. So 
Your life is about you creating for you and what you want. And once you master that, you can teach everybody else what you did. I connected my head and my heart. I put it in my mind and I did not let it go. I had the knowing it was coming to me. I had the vision. That's the vision, seeing it in the mind. I had the vision. I had the knowing. I had the understanding it was coming to me. And I didn't let go of that. And I did not feel badly about it because there was nothing to feel bad about. There was nothing to feel bad about. Okay. And that's what I have on that. Uh, let's see what this is. Hi, Tony. I hope you are well. I am. Thank you so much. Could you kindly look into when I will have a job change and when contact will be made to begin the job change for that job? Yes. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, let's see. When is Stephanie going to change jobs? Oh, it's coming in soon. Um, it is coming in soon. It's, but um, Stephanie, I feel like there are two, maybe three steps you need to take for this. But as soon as you do, everything's going to fall into place and it will happen. I, I hear something's coming in tomorrow. Now, when they say tomorrow, it doesn't mean tomorrow. It means in a very short period of time. And I feel like within a month's time. Now, also when they say tomorrow, that might be the first step to either like finding the place, filling out the paperwork. And then in a month's time, you might have a much clearer vision of where you want to go. And that brings to the next thing, Stephanie. Make sure if you are changing jobs, you're going up, not sideways. Okay, you're going up, not sideways. Wherever you go, whatever you do next, make sure it's what you want and it's a step up, not a step sideways. Otherwise, you will still feel the same way. The same issues will come up for you. So make sure you're going up. And again, I'm going to say this, Stephanie, go to AI, take take your, your, your uh, resume, whatever it is, put it into AI and chat GPT and make sure that you're looking for all the positions that you qualify for, not just the same thing that you've done in the past, okay? That's what I have for you. I hope that's very, very helpful for you. Um, <clears throat> thank you everybody so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this, this time that we have spent together. I wanna tell you, I will be back next Tuesday at noon. I won't have the show on Monday because I'll be traveling. But next Tuesday at noon, I will be here to do another show, answer your questions, help you connect to loved ones on the other side. And somebody on the other side named Ronaldo is coming through now. So whoever Ronaldo is for, um, I just hear the name Ronaldo, Ronaldo. And now let me be clear. Somebody on the other side is saying the name Ronaldo, which could mean your name is Ronaldo. Their name is Ronaldo. I'm just hearing the name Ronaldo. Um, and then Maria, Maria, like with a with a little bit of a tongue roll. So that's that's there too. Um, thank you so much again. I will see everybody seconds. next Tuesday. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the week, everybody. Till next time.